you've noticed, over the past week, I've been covering a lot of Batman-related stuff. I've covered the Joker, and I've covered Scott Snyder's run on the traditional Batman story. However, there is one story that I have deliberately left out because I wanted to review it separately. This one is one of my favorite Batman stories of all time. I'm talking about Black Mirror. It's got all the perfect elements in it. It's got the rogues gallery, it's got a really great hook and a really good mystery, and on top of that, a frightening reincarnation of a villain. Now, an important thing to note about this story is that Bruce Wayne is not under the cowl in this. It's Dick Grayson. The story is written by Scott Snyder, and while I love the man's work on the Batman New 52 series, I still think this is his best work. The storyline centers around the return of James Gordon Jr. Now, if you've never heard of James Gordon, I don't blame you. James Gordon Jr. made his first appearance in Batman Year One, and since then, no one had really used the character in any way. That is until Scott Snyder came along. It turns out the reason for this is because he's been ostracized from his family. Why? Well, he's got a bit of a psychopathic killer streak in him. We see Junior as he meets up with his father and he tells him that, hey, look, I'm clean. All I'm doing right now is taking my medication and I really have these tendencies under control. While all this is going down, Dick Grayson kind of has his hands full. You see, a few people have stolen things out of the evidence locker in Gotham City Police Department. Dick chases these guys and he discovers a brand new villain. The Dealer. It is from there that the story really takes off. What I love about this story so much is just how well Scott Snyder put this together. He introduces James Gordon Jr. after being gone for so long, and he makes you question if he's on the up and up or if he's still very, very dangerous. While the typical crime mystery tropes are there, including throwing a few red herrings along the way to throw you off, it's still a really damn good mystery. On top of that, what's so awesome about this is he sticks the landing. The final page in this story is brilliant, pure brilliant. It's one of the few times that I've read a comic and thought immediately, wow, this is absolutely going to be a classic, and he 100% nailed the ending. It's flawless in its execution, and it's absolutely haunting. And if you've read this, I think the sad thing is we'll never actually know what the end result of that final page will be. The art here is handled by Francisco Francavilla and Jock. Jock handles the main story while Francisco Francavilla handles the smaller side stories that are put into the back of the issues. Both artists are on fire here. They are working in tandem together and it's a beautiful thing to see. I love the way that Francisco Francavilla handles the situation involving James Gordon Jr. and his father and he really gives it a real noir twist to it. It looks beautifully well done and it fits the tone of the book perfectly. Meanwhile, Jock does what he does best. There's really not a complaint to be had here in terms of art. This is, like I said, both artists working at the top of their game. Batman Black Mirror was a classic the minute that book came out and today it stands to me as one of the best examples of the modern day take on Dick Grayson. If you have not read this book, I urge you to do so immediately. I rate my books on a pass, borrow, buy scale and this one is a buy. There you have it folks, if you've read Batman The Black Mirror, please let me know down below in the comments section what you thought of it. You can order this book through Amazon, if you do so, I get a cut of the profit, if you use the link down below, it doesn't come out of your wallet, it comes out of Amazon's. You can follow me on Twitter, that is the preferred method to get a hold of me, that link is down below as well, and of course, if you like this content and you want to support it, Patreon is located in the description. New videos go out Monday through Thursday at 8am with a Q&A on Friday. I love you guys! I'll speak with you soon. Bye.